So morning all peoples and the peoples of the YouTubes as some of the people would say uh, it's a lovely blowy Sunday morning the roads are slightly damp and didn't get to ride last Sunday and uh, if you happen to follow me on my Facebook we had a bit of a messy night last night uh, a lot of alcohol was consumed what the hell is going on here? Learn up. So as I was saying, a lot of alcohol was consumed last night, apart from me. That was clever. <laughs> yeah, make sure you're... Get around these roundabouts. Alright, anyway, a lot of alcohol was consumed last night, apart from me, who only had, I think, about one beer. And it was like, come on, have a drink, have a drink. I am riding Sunday morning. I'm going to uh, moderate. Oh, what about all the beer? Well, you can have it. I don't want it. So, uh, the wife is in bed with a hangover today. My neighbours are feeling slightly worse for wear. We had a little bit of fun. We played Milton Keynes Monopoly. Oh, the things you do. And then we had to go at this uh, pie face game. Now, I'm not a lover of squirty cream, but I got pied. Everybody got pied last night. It was a good bit of fun. And, uh, yeah, a good time was had by all. So uh, our new neighbours that we've known for about six months got to uh, obviously come around the house. We had loads of food and that. And uh, what are you doing this morning? I am off for a ride. I need to get out on the bike. I am suffering from deprivation syndrome. I need to get out and ride. Now, obviously, I go out and ride every day of the week on the uh, little 125s. But I don't get to ride very, very often on the big one. So I thought we'd get a run in at Super Sausage, and it is obviously Remembrance Sunday. So 11 o'clock at Super Sausage, everything will stop for two minutes while we pay our respects to the fallen. And to all of those, and obviously a lot of my friends are as well, ex-services, whether it's RAF, Navy, Air Force, we thank you for your service. That includes the guys from the police and the, uh, the other emergency services. Thank you for your service, guys. Now, it's also the Ring of Red this Sunday which is the uh, the run round the M25. Let's get that screen up. That's better. You can hear what I'm saying now. So we're out, we'll have a little bit of a, a run up to the Super Sausage. And it is a bit blistering, so time for heated grips today. And it's on the heated seat. Oh, the comforts of riding a GTR in luxury. Obviously you find all these refinements on a BMW, or you find it on the, uh, the Honda Gold Wings, so you've got all the refinements and all of that, but every now and then, heated grips and a nice heated seat do come in handy. So what have we been doing this week? Not a lot, apart from ride, 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 ride. Lots of bikes are still being sold at the garage, and a lot of people that are uh, obviously coming in, and looking at uh, the used bikes, the big ones. Now you would have thought this time of the year, bike season is just about coming to the end, but you've got your all weather riders as well, so the people that do ride all year round, don't just uh, park your bikes up for the winter. So a lot of the guys are uh, obviously uh, still out riding, noddy nod. An old uh, bill is out in force today lots of them. Have a little bit of a blitz on the old motorists this morning, hence why I'm sticking to the 70, like you meant to do. Those heated grips are working nicely now. Can't believe it, I've just filled the GTR up, we've been running it up every day at the garage, we run all the bikes up every morning and uh, she's eaten her fuel in the last two weeks, just sitting outside ticking over. So I've just filled up. 20 quid to fill up, that's going to last me probably the month. 
because obviously I don't use this every day of the week it normally sits at the garage until we get the fence built at home and the uh, the boys I think from BBN are out riding today but obviously I need to get back for dinner time I have a lot to do today and tidy up from last night we left the kitchen a mess last night and a couple of quick shout outs we did a live stream on Friday and uh, we had the uh, Obviously Simon GTR 1400 popped in on the live stream. Jim Diesel popped in. Morning to you, Jim. And uh, I do tend to follow Jim Diesel quite a lot. All the guys that normally follow me, like MT Belly, uh, Hell's on Two Wheels, Hell Belly popped in and said hello. And then uh, quite a lot more that were in the room. We had Mrs. Burning Gas hauling ass, military biker popped in. And then uh, down the bottom, obviously, on the live stream, we had uh, so many, I can't think of all the names now, but uh, go and watch my live stream from last Friday because we were discussing biker awareness. Now, if you haven't seen my Cypher video, and obviously that guy came straight across the road, didn't look. I'm going to come out here let the boys out. the wave and shifty back in and I think they're off the super sausage as well but uh, yeah it was a very very good live stream talking about that guy that pulled out and uh, my reaction to it and obviously uh, hills on two wheels I did like his re oh if that was me I'd have given a right mouthful which is what um, a lot of bikers tend to do you know it depends on the age of the driver I can see he was an older driver when he pulled out but absolutely no awareness whatsoever of what he'd done and as we say educate not aggravate because all you need to do is take a oh this biker oh bloody bikers oh, bloody bikers this bloody bikers that yeah that's normally what happens if you start sort of reacting and getting aggressive with people just pull them over quick work do you realise you just missed me, mate? Look, just do us a favour, look twice. Next time, hopefully, that guy is going to obviously get to a junction. Are you going to go round the bike? Thank you very much. Obviously, where are that biker in from? Educate the, uh, the driver. And it makes him a bit more, obviously, obvious. When he pulls up to the next junction, he's going to look for people. Now, it could have been worse. It could have been a 16-year-old dragging it around. Or it could have been a guy on a bicycle. That could have been a whole lot worse of a situation. But obviously, with my stuff that I've been learning, and I'm still not fully up to board with my training, but uh, I have learned a hell of a lot. Obviously, my lane positioning, watching my mirrors, moving around a lot more. And obviously just my observations and using my mirrors a lot more doing my sevens as I've been taught and obviously now I am used to the width of the bike as one thing I used to do was do this right out where I used to be with a sports bike and straddling that white line wrong position get back over here and I've now realized use the edge of the wing mirror add a foot to the edge of the wing mirror down here and that is my center line But one thing I do like to do, obviously, when I do pull up, I tend to sort of either occupy the outer or the inner and putting the bike into out of gear when I pull up at junctions. That was another thing they picked up on. Don't leave your bike in gear. Sit there with your hand on the clutch. Yes, my foot is on the brake at the moment. So I can sit here, put my hands on the tanks, blah, blah, blah. Swap feet, into gear, back onto the brake pedal, and there we go. So a lot of the things that I have learned, and obviously riding this is a totally different ride to riding that Ninja. This thing has got Pirelli Angel GTs on it, and uh, as Nick said, stop going up into the higher gears, get it into the lower gears, and you will find, look, it sails round the corners if you've got the revs on. 
which is obviously what I've been doing. I've been out doing a lot of training. I have read, I have read my, I finally finished my motorcycle handbook. I managed to get all the way through in about four days. And I was spending about an hour a night on it. And I thought, right, I've had the book. I've had it a few weeks now. I'm, I'm sort of skirting two or three pages a night. Let's just do it in depth and just bang home. And which is exactly what I did. I went all the way through my motorcycle handbook finished that about two days ago and guess what I'm back at the beginning again I'm reading it again and the missus said to me why are you reading it again you've read it twice yeah read it again and then read it again and then read it again reason being there's always something you go through that you're going to forget so I've been reading 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 and uh, hopefully <coughs> excuse me I will have picked up something Heaven forbid if I haven't. My hands are getting slightly hot now. Right. Grips off. Save some battery. But as I say, these GTRs are absolutely perfect. And there's a lot of roadworks going on here. Do I put the filter in? Mm. No. I'm going to be a nice boy today. I could get a filter in and go all the way at the front of the queue. But is it worth it just for the sake of uh, upsetting a load of car drivers? And I do have oncoming traffic as well, so... We're going to sit here and obviously have a look at the track. I don't know what the hell they're doing down there. It must be some sort of building or something. But uh, got a few bikers, car up to the inside, watching him. I think we are off. Oh, he's going to filter. Let him go on with it. Oh, let him do it. I'm just going to sit here and filter. All the boys back there are all filtered, waiting in the queue, so... some sort of tree lopping. Now oh, that'll upset the eco greeny warriors, isn't it? Oh, we're chopping a tree down. It's a wonder they haven't tied themselves to it with little pink ribbons. Save the trees. So about half a mile out from Super Sausage. We are going to go and get uh, the obligatory cup of coffee and a smoke, as always. And then load up with the bacon rolls. Uh, the neighbours have said, can you get a bacon roll? Yeah. So if you haven't been up to Super Sausage Caf, come check the place out. We're just outside Pottersbury, so straight down the A5 in Milton Keynes, just up this little road, just past the Churchills. That's the bike garage there, with Terry and the boys, that I all know. And then you turn in here, this is the Super Sausage. And what a Super Sausage they do as well. And it's quite busy this morning, which is a good thing. Just rolling in nicely, maintaining a bit of speed, and they're all off the Jack Hills then. Where are you going? Right, so we're going to get parked up. We're going to have some brekkie, see if any of my mates are here. Normally up. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Go oh, bloody hell, this is tight around it. And the pit stop, the outside tea hut is shut. Recognise that jigsaw though. I think we'll go back there. Yeah, there's a few here that I recognise. In fact, there's a lot here that I recognise. Right, so we're going to get parked up. We're going to have the obligatory uh, cup of coffee, cigarette, see the boys, and I will catch up with you all in just a few.